So this video is still on representation theory and we are still doing some revision on linear algebra. Okay, now let us suppose we have a linear transformation. This is a classical concept from linear algebra from the vector space V to the vector space W. Okay, and let us suppose that V has one basis, B, and W has another basis, uh, B prime. So B will be B will be a, a basis with vectors v1, v2, vn, and this is a basis for v and b prime, a basis for w, with vectors w1, w2, w3, w n. Okay, so. This is a linear transformation, okay? So our question now is, what is the matrix T? So the, 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 this mat matrix T, and this is a linear transformation from V to W, we are going to write this matrix based on the basis B and B prime, okay? So this will be a n times n matrix, right? Wait a sec. m times n, so this cannot be n and n, n. There's a mistake here. This one has to be m. Okay? A linear transformation. So if you have m times n, you're taking from a space n to m, right? Okay, this is a classic and basic thing. You can check that. You can check in my future basic linear algebra course. But if you're taking, if you have a transformation from, for instance, a particular case from R3 to the R2, from three dimensions to two dimensions, you'll have a matrix two by three, okay? From R3 to R2, it will be a matrix, the, the, the matrix transformation will be a two by three. This is a, a very common mistake, and it's a concept that takes very long for some students to get in, okay? So I gave a particular example here of a 2 by 3 uh, matrix okay so this matrix is a linear transformation or an operator to from r3 to r2 okay let's go back to our matrix so we have m we have n and since we are taking from v to w right so we have to have a matrix m times n in no time I will be doing a, a, a basic course on linear algebra and another one not so basic but I'll do a basic one on linear algebra and you can check another chapter of linear transformations where I think I will teach this with some detail okay so let us go let us move back to this transformation we have this linear transformation the, so this matrix of the linear transformation will take from a base B to the basis from basis B to basis uh, B prime. Okay. So the question is, what is the jth column? So the jth column is going to be transformation of V j b prime okay this might be a bit confusing so you might prefer to write the transformation this way transformation of v uh, j will be the sum 
from 1, of course, i, starting in, in 1, to m of a, i, g, and this will be the entries of the first matrix and w, i. Okay? So this matrix transformation from base b to base b prime will be what will be at the end of the day if you want, if you prefer to write it this way a i j okay so if uh, in the case where let me do it here if v equals w so if you're doing a linear transformation um, a, a automorphism right from the space into the same space if v equals uh, w if if this happens and if b equals b prime okay because you can have the same space and not the same basis okay but if the space is the same and the bases are the same um, you can write simply transformation b this is quite obvious right because it's from the same basis so we we, we just write it uh, this way okay but of course technically technically speaking this means uh, transformation from b to b because we always need one base a basis for one space and a basis for the the, the other space Okay.